I'm here to do your mid-monthly reading. If you are new here, my name is Jen, and I help people find their passion and their purpose using techniques such as astrology, tarot, and intuitive coaching. So if you're interested in working with me, definitely check out the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website. Um, and also a couple announcements. I am hosting a webinar series. The first of the series is going to be on March Third, and it's all about learning how to read tarot or just kind of more information on the tarot. The first one's gonna be all about the major arcana and the journey of the fool, which I feel a lot of people don't even know kind of the backstory of what the major arcana is symbolic of and how it connects to our own spiritual journeys. So I'm offering a 20% off discount if you purchase the tickets before February 25th. I wanted to make something fun, informative, and affordable. So if you're looking for a way to kind of learn more about tarot, definitely check it out. I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below. And I also am offering my free manifestation um, moon manifestation workbook. So definitely go download that check it out. Um, you're going to get kind of a taste of what is going to be talked about in the webinar through the manifestation workbook because I do talk about the fool and the magician. But anyways, let's get into this reading. Uh, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Just Like Magic by Ariana Grande. Uh, Manifest it. I get everything I want because I attract it. So you could be in like a big manifestation manifestation period right now um you know i'm doing something different where i'm just imposing the spread on the on the screen uh so uh, the fact that the overall energy of this reading is the magician i feel like i mean you are just manifesting like crazy over here so let's pull some oracle cards and see what the advice is here for pisces we have refine your attention. So one of the biggest things when it comes to manifesting is being able to kind of focus in on what it is that you want versus like the other things. Like when we hyper focus, when we send our energy to that in which we want, when we align with that, that's when it's like extremely powerful, right? So we have be decisive and count your blessings. Another great manifestation hack is to practice gratitude because the more that we're living in this energy of abundance versus lack is when we're going to manifest because we're going to be in alignment and and that's like a magnetic for, force like attracts like so if i'm in an abundant mindset if I'm expressing gratitude for everything that I do have, I'm going to get more that comes towards my way. So even if you're going through a rough time, uh, my easiest advice if you want to kind of change tracks is writing down five things that you're grateful for every day. But okay, let's get into the Moonology cards here and see what we got. What we got cooking for the Pisces. Um, we have work through your fears. Um... We have confidence is your key to success. And let's get one more. The energy is gaining momentum. So I do feel like you're building a momentum here. And it's almost in that kind of feeling of um, magnetic. Like I'm mag I think she says that in the song too. Like if you haven't heard that song, definitely go listen to it because she talks, you're very close to achieving your goal. She's like just, it's a whole song about manifesting and being magnetic attraction and like law of attraction. That's the whole song. So uh, let's look at the bottom of the deck. We have the nine of swords. So this could be something that you've been thinking about a lot, something that has caused you a lot of sleepless nights. But the thing about manifesting is like having to clear that, detaching from the overthinking. Uh, so it's kind of clearing that channel so that we can um, manifest. You know, that's that refining your attention card there is, is kind of, um, you know, taking this to the one sword, like focus on one thing at a time and, and really clearing that being in the present moment is what's going to make you that magnetic force. So obviously we have the magician here. The magician here as the overall energy. So I feel like this is you 
Um, and I talk about the magician in my little moon manifestation workbook. Um, and the magician is basically like, you have all the tools. You have all the tools. That's the whole point. The fool is on this journey and he's taking his little satchel. That's all he has. But what's in the little satchel is all the tools that he needs, which are his pentacles, um, his passion his the wands his emotions the cups and his mind the the swords so it's like you have all the tools when you combine all those tools like turning your thoughts into things type of energy that's when you're going to be the most successful so let's get a clarifier for this magician um the lovers card gemini energy so you could be manifesting that soulmate that love connection um here we have the six of wands the ten of wands and the world card so i do think that you have some kind of victory or confidence like something that's going to be making you feel really confident coming up but i do feel like there is this kind of ending coming in with this ten of wands of overburdening yourself i think that you are going to be refining your attention and um not spreading yourself so thin so i do think with the world card here there is some kind of some kind of culmination that's happening for you some kind of completion final fulfillment um because that's that's the last card of the major arcana is that world card so that's kind of you know from the fool to the world that's where the fool has achieved his um fulfillment and he's ready to start a new journey start a new adventure so i do think that you're coming to like a close or something here where you are getting ready to start a new adventure so let's get a clarifier for the six of wands we have the nine of cups okay so wish fulfillment comes in for you there's a wish fulfillment that's coming in for you that's basically going to send you to the next chapter of your life so let's see the world card here Give me a clarifier for this world card the queen of swords so again i feel like this has to do with something that you are cutting out something that you are um gaining clarity around on in terms of like i do feel like you're gaining some kind of clarity and you're disconnecting from something that's that's essentially going to be sending you into this new new phase of your life but it's it's about releasing like not spreading yourself so thin anymore you're releasing all this like chatter in your brain god people keep walking by um walking by my window um hmm. and that could be like that distraction like you're kind of cutting out the distractions with this emperor card here and the page of pentacles and the hierophant i feel like you're kind of laser focused on something there's something that you're about to be laser focused on like you've decided this is what i want and i'm not going to stop till i get it so this page of pentacles we have taurus energy here um this page of pentacles it's almost like there's like this offer or like a gift or something on the table I don't know why, but I'm hearing a gift and it could have to do with like this thing that you've been manifesting. So let's get a clarifier for this emperor card, um, the strength card. Yeah, so this is you really being decisive, deciding what you want and um, you're not allowing your fears. Like I feel like this is you cutting your fears out. Um, you're kind of pushing those fears aside and this is you essentially deciding like this is what i want this is what i'm going to go for so the hierophant here and it could have to deal with commitment like if you're um somebody who's afraid of committing i feel like you're actually gonna be like okay i'm gonna make this commitment um nine of pentacles nine of pentacles this could have to do with work though obviously but I do think that this might have to do with some kind of love situation. This is you. Um, somebody, there's, I think that there's somebody here kind of making you an offer at the same time. And the Knight of Cups here, uh, oh, we have the Knight of Cups, the Tower card, and the King of Wands. So this could be you offering some kind of love or some kind of creative offer or you kind of surrendering to the divine um, because the tower being here is like you're surrendering to this change, to this collapse, 
but you know that the collapse needs to happen because you were spreading yourself too thin beforehand. So you're like, I'm going to let all of this fall by the wayside because I'm so laser focused on this one thing that I want to make happen. Um, so let's see what this Knight of Cups is doing here. The King of Cups. Ah, mm, Pisces, that could be you or that could be you kind of, you know, moving on up from that knight of cups with the like love to offer to really just embodying that stable emotional range you know um and you're kind of like i get this like eye of the tiger energy for you um this really warrior like energy but like soft warrior because i think of um the king of cups is like you know embodies his emotions um especially in this energy it's like he's he's the the emotions are outpouring the emotions are flowing but he's not stressed or worried about it he's like letting the emotions kind of embody him so you could be just stepping into your like natural piscean energy and looking at this change that's about to come in like let's do this so we have the king of wands here and the page of swords so there could be somebody here who's been, um, you know, watching you, wanting to make you an offer here. Let's see. What is this? Five of Cups. Um, you know, feelings of feelings of loss that I think we're moving away from. Feelings of confusion. Um, instead of focusing on what's been lost, and that's that expressing gratitude right um instead of focusing on what's been lost there's like this focus on the cups that are still standing um and in you embodying like i just see you really embodying this energy of being ready to go after what it is that you want um and, and i do think that because of that there is a tower moment happening but it's one that you're fully prepared to handle you're like ready for it you're like bring it on um, but I do feel like you have some kind of um, offer of like some kind of commitment coming in or some kind of offer that's coming in. I'm specifically hearing like um, a gift, whether it's from the universe or whether it's from somebody. I mean, maybe this is like, you know, finally saying yes to a proposal if it has to do with love um, or saying yes to somebody when they come forward. Um, if it is somebody who's coming forward, I feel like you've said no to them before um, out of fear. But now you're like, no, I'm ready now. I'm ready now and I'm going to, I'm not going to miss that opportunity twice. So that could be in regards to love or that could be in regards to some kind of career move. Maybe somebody's offering you that job position again or, you know, maybe it is kind of this love and, and it comes in again, whether it's a past person or a new person who just reflects a past situation. But this time you're like, oh, I'm not going to lose this one. I'm not going to let this one go. Like, I know what I want. I'm going to go for it. Even if it means, you know, everything crumbles around me. This is what I want. Uh, so this is the energy I'm picking up for you guys, Pisces. In the extended, I will look more into the archetypes here to see kind of what what's coming in for you we're gonna pull some more tarot we're gonna take a look at the heart to heart messages and then we're going to pull some of the sexual tarot just look a little bit more deeper into this situation see what's coming towards you what this tower moment is so if you're interested in that click the link in the description box and i will see you guys there bye mm -hmm.